Hidden at the bottom of the level's page is this image, with the caption, What have I done to deserve this? Why do you make me suffer? I mean, that picture is just nightmare fuel as it is. Have you ever wondered if there's a Valentine's Day level inside of the back rooms? Or what happens if you fall in love inside of the back rooms? You haven't? Well, I don't know what to say now. Today, I will be explaining level 251 of the back rooms, also known as the Love Ride. This level's amazing, it's horrifying, and it's appropriately themed for the upcoming Valentine's Day season. So if you're gonna be all alone on Valentine's Day this year, just like me, drop a like on this video to help each other out, you know? The level's page starts with a medical report of someone who was found not alive, which is, of course, a great way to start off a level. It reads as follows. Date, January 6, 2016. Dear Jenny Blackwood, it is with a heavy heart and profound responsibility that I write to you concerning the tragic incident involving Michael Richardson. Incident overview. The date of the incident, January 2nd, 2016. Location, near Elmwood Park, Oak Street. Time, approximately 11.30 p.m. Medical findings. Upon arrival at the scene, Michael Richardson was found in a critical state due to a vehicular collision. Despite immediate intervention and emergency care, the extent of the injuries was severe. The primary cause of death was identified as traumatic brain injury, compounded by multiple internal injuries. Efforts to resuscitate were exhaustive, but regrettably unsuccessful. Time of death. Michael Richardson was pronounced deceased at 12.15 a.m. Please accept my deepest condolences for your loss and know that my thoughts are with you during this challenging time. Sincerely, Dr. Elizabeth, Chief of Emergency Medicine, Elmwood Hospital. Someone is no longer alive and you'll definitely see what happened later on the video. Backrooms level 251 has been classified as a class two survival difficulty because it's very unsafe and it's very unsecure and it has a low but very, very dangerous entity count. The physical description of the level has been cataloged as the following. Level 251 consists of several branching segments of watercourse tunnels. Just like those tunnel rides that you'd get on at Disney or in like a theme park, that's what it looks like here. Inside these tunnels, there are two narrow walkways on each side. In the grand scheme of the back rooms, level 251 is actually pretty small and is estimated to only be about 20,000 kilometers squared. The different tunnels in this level typically stretch out into a mile in length, and at the end of that mile, they split off into two other directions. The level has no natural lighting, since it takes place inside of tunnels, and the only source of light is very dim lamps that are scattered across the walls. The lamps suck for lack of a better term, and they barely put out any light. So if you want to see where you're going, you probably should bring your own lantern or flashlight or something, because in this level, there are literally parts that are pitch black. So do with that what you will. The different tunnel sections are segmented by a decorative archway. And these archways normally take a romantic or lovey theme. For instance, an archway could be a heart or swans or flowers or something else. All of these things are love or romantic themed. The walls of the tunnels here typically are rough and very coarse. They're covered in mold and dust, and it's actually to the point where you can just see mold spores and dust floating in the air. Underneath the tunnel's tracks and the paths, there is a ditch-like structure where knee-deep water flows constantly. Now the water is gross, it's disgusting and dirty. It's very abandoned looking, and it seems very murky. There's often a bunch of dirt and debris floating in the top of it. While walking through the level, you might come across an abandoned boat or something like that that takes the appearance of a swan. You've seen those swan boats from those real life love cave ride things. They're here as well. Most of these boats look old and abandoned, just like the rest of the level, and it is not recommended to step foot inside unless you just want to sink into the water. The rest of the tunnels are decorated with things that used to look good. There are weird looking dolls and animatronics, and you can tell at one time that wherever this level is used to be a vibrant and colorful romantic place. It used to be very, very cute and charming. 
The decor you might see could include old heart cutouts, or roses, or cupids, or doves, or other symbols of love, and you also might see little panoramic window scenes with small figurines. These decorations, however, are not present in every single tunnel, and sometimes you might find yourself walking in an empty tunnel with nothing but these moldy waters and walls. Now, these specific empty tunnels are interesting because multiple wanderers have reported experiencing a serene calmness while walking through them. Some have said they get a really deep, nostalgic feeling as well. The reason for this is unknown, but it's in these empty areas where the walls and the water are rougher and more coarse. It's also been noted that wanderers develop an addiction to walking deeper and deeper into these empty tunnels the longer they're inside of them. So because of this, it's not recommended to stay in any tunnel for long, much less the empty ones. Even deeper into the complex of tunnels, wanderers might stumble upon a room that looks to be an entrance of the ride. The room will have a waiting line area with those red velvet ropes, there'll be a ticket booth, and there'll be chairs where you can sit and relax. The sign in this room says the name of the attraction. The name is Love Ride, which is where the name of the level comes from, if you didn't catch that. There's a panel with a red button inside of the booth that can be pressed if you want to start up the ride, and when you press the button, you'll hear a bunch of old machinery noises begin to start, only for a few seconds before it fades into silence. After this, you can get into a boat or a cart, and you can begin your journey through the rest of the level. The level is home to an entity that is extremely unsettling, and to be honest, very dangerous. Actually, it's probably one of the more dangerous ones I've gone over. Hidden at the bottom of the level's page is this image, with the caption, what have I done to deserve this? Why do you make me suffer? I mean, that picture is just nightmare fuel as it is. So let's get into the explanation of it and see how much worse it can get. The entity in question is Entity 215-A, the Apparition, and it's been classified as a Class 3B danger. The apparition manifests itself as a wanderer's former lover, or former partner, or just someone from their past romantic life. The entity will physically take the appearance of that former lover, and it'll say things and mention things that you and your former lover used to talk about. The entity has been known to use psychological manipulation to hunt down its targets, and it'll do things like whisper and call out to you in order to lure you deeper towards it. It's been stated that the apparition preys on the wanderer's emotional vulnerability and will break down the psyche of anyone it can. It'll keep doing this mental warfare until the wanderer is completely too tired or incapacitated and can't move. Once this happens, the entity will initiate something called the consumption process. So this is nasty, prepare yourself. The apparition will begin to attach itself to wanderer's skin and it will progressively digest them from the outside in, starting with the skin and working its way into the inside organs. Let me repeat that. This apparition thing will graft itself to your skin and eat you like a spider kind of. The consumption is over when the entire body is consumed and only a pile of bones and flesh and clothes are left behind. Nice. In order to not become the apparition's next meal, you need to ignore any voices or any signs of someone that you think you know on this level. You need to keep moving in a straight line and do not detour down other tunnels, and you need to stay aware of reality. Do not let yourself fall back into the memories of that apparition. No matter how much you love that person, they are not here, they are not real. Failure to do those things that I just said will cause you to become a pile of bones and clothes and be the next meal from the apparition. To enter the level, you can find a tunnel in the pool rooms that leads to one of these tunnels here, and to exit, you need to find a randomly placed exit door in the side of the tunnel to get out. These are usually placed in completely random spots, so good luck finding that. To recap this level, it is a semi-large complex of tunnels that looks like those old romantic boat rides from real life. Everything here is abandoned, all the hearts, the doves, the cupids, the boats, the tunnels, it's all old and rotten, and all the water smells gross, it's dusty and moldy. Inside these tunnels lives the apparition entity, which tries to lure you towards itself by acting like a former romantic partner of yours. Once it does that, well, it'll eat you. That's, frankly, it's going to consume you. And that's pretty much it for the level. Cool.
that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching to the end. If you are still watching, drop a like since there's no point not to. Also, like I said, leave a like if you were going to be alone on this Valentine's Day coming up. I am, but I, I have you all and you all have me. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this level. And also let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Valentine's Day candy? I got to say mine is probably Reese Cups, if I'm being honest. If you want to see more of me and other people that I collab with, go check out my Instagram uh, where I post pictures. That's what Instagram is for. And also my Twitter where I post randomly if you want to see more of me. Thank you for all you do. I will see you in the next video. Peace and love, everybody.